and the art block box test prints have arrived and I am so excited. Okay, so I am technically future Leah speaking right now because I'm doing a voiceover, but I'm not like future future Leah. I'm the very next day Leah. <laughs> so basically, I got so excited when the box arrived. I just brought it down to my studio and started opening it up and I didn't really pay attention to the ambiance. You know, I had the washing machine going, the dryer, my dog started barking and it was just chaos actually and it was really loud so I need to redo this voiceover um so I love that the manufacturer actually put in a lot of packaging and protected these boxes it actually took me five minutes to get this tape off of them <laughs> but here they are here is the art block box box types that we're going to be choosing from so this is what I need from all of you I need you to tell me which box option you want to see with this type of card set. Which one do you think is the best one? And then whichever one votes and gets the highest number of voting is going to be the box type that I'm going to go with. So this one right here is box option number two, the lift lid one. It was actually a recommendation by one of you guys that thought it'd be an interesting idea to see if you could just have them sitting on your desk. And then this one right here is the magnetic book box option. It's a classic card deck box type that is, you know, pretty much everywhere in the Oracle and Tarot card world. And it's a classic box type. So what I'm going to do is just open it up, take a quick look at everything because in this one, the box actually has test prints of the cards and the starter manual that I created for these, these cards for you guys to use and have access to. I really like how gloss, I like the glossy surface and the magnetic, it's a good strong magnet. So I, I really like that as well. Ooh. <laughs> It's just even watching this video, like seeing how beautiful that holographic edging is on the cards is just I'm so excited. So this starter manual really is just to give you guys some ideas of different ways that you can use them. But before we actually like get into it, I want to point out that in the art block box, there are some photographs that I've taken personally that I've included in this, but the majority of these images are coming from royalty free sites where I'm able to use them for this type of per, per like this type of purpose. And so I put credit and give credit to that in this project because I giving credit is really important. And mm, oh my God, look at the holographic. It's beautiful, isn't it? And oh, I also really like these cards and how they turned out. So I chose to go with glossy versus a standard type of card that way. So that it's easier to clean them if you get paint on it. And I love how they're not this weird cheap feeling glossy. They have this high class feeling and the colors are so crisp and bright and accurate. They're just it's beautiful and I'm just I'm so excited I'm I'm actually thinking about doing a little paint test so I'm gonna grab a few of the cards and just flick some paint at it and just see how well they handle getting dirty and if they actually are easier to clean versus just a standard card option but the whole point of these cards really is to get dirty right guys so we want to get creative we want to spend time making art but I still don't want you guys to be like oh no I ruined it so that's why the glossy um yeah it's I gotta admit this design is sleek to me and I really like it but now let's see how the cards fit in the other type of box option so with this box, you can have it sitting on your desk without the lid on it, and you can just have access to your cards whenever you want. So you can pick one out at random or anything like that if you'd prefer to use it that way. I don't know if I should voice this opinion, like this concern. Um, one of my friends, <laughs> she loves this deck of cards. She's like so excited about it, but she's a little concerned about this lift uh, lid 
box type because she's worried that maybe you know putting it together with the lid all the time like she wouldn't be able to coordinate that all the time um, just because sometimes you know putting lids back on is not always easy to do so she's a little worried about that so I don't know if you guys are or not I want to hear your concerns about the box types and things like that I want to hear what you think is the right option that you would prefer even though these are cards that you're going to be taking them out and I understand that sometimes people you buy them and you don't even like pay attention to the box the box doesn't matter it's what's inside the box that matters to you um, but yeah let me know what you guys think it should be and once I have some votes in I'm gonna pick whoever box type wins has the highest vote is gonna be the box type that I'm gonna be going with now I'm reaching the end of the video so I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that's showing some love to the art block box and I can't wait for this to go live on Kickstarter and for all of you to have access to the art block box Thank you so much, and until next time, stay magical.